it's Bridget. This is a chat. Welcome to Above Life channel. I'm doing a video that is chatting. So if you only want channeling, don't watch this video. I want to catch up with you and let you know of some interesting stuff that happened. So I recently went on a trip to Walt Disney World and I had three afterlife little guests wave at me. Let's just say that. Three sightings of afterlife celebrities that you and I both know because I have channeled them already and you will recognize them. All right. So the first one is David Bowie. There was actually in the in-flight entertainment on the airplane, there was a program by the BBC called Finding Fame, David Bowie. And I watched it and it was fascinating. It was about an hour long and I learned a lot about him as a person and how he went through so many iterations of himself trying to express his true identity and as a performer as a as a an icon a stand for creativity and for expressing himself through his music and that was wonderful. What a gift that was. And I actually did a channeling video here at Above Life Channel where I talked to David Bowie about that, using that as a springboard for our conversation. So check out that playlist with David Bowie. So also, second sighting was Robin Williams. So I stayed at a resort called Art of Animation and Art of Animation has these just, just such wonderful vibes, great theming, um, Disney movies theming, and great music. And over and over again, the songs from the movie Aladdin, where Robin Williams played the original genie in the movie Aladdin, right? The animated Aladdin. And so I just, just being there and hearing the music over and over again was like, oh my gosh. And one day we went to the Hollywood Studios theme park. So Disney actually has four different theme parks at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Magic Kingdom, that's a big park with the castle that you think about. That's what it's like also in Disneyland. Then there's Epcot, which is the one with, that looks like this big silver kind of golf ball like the World of Tomorrow has the world showcases different countries there. Very interesting. I love Epcot. I spent a lot of time there this last time as well. And then there's Animal Kingdom, which is kind of like a zoo. And the symbol there is a big tree of life in the middle. And then the fourth theme park is called Disney's Hollywood Studios. They just celebrated their 30th anniversary in the, in the month of May 2019. And it's been through some different names, but it's considered Disney's Hollywood Studios now. That's where they're building that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You know, you've heard about that. It's coming. And that's where they're building that portion of that theme park is going to be just a Galaxy's Edge Star Wars area. They have a Toy Story area there too, but they also have this, when you walk in, it's this whole mock-up of old Hollywood. You walk in and you're on Hollywood Boulevard and then you go on Sunset Boulevard and then you go down Hollywood and Vine and then right in front of you is Man's Chinese Theater. It used to be called Man's. I don't know what it's called now. The Chinese Theater replica of it from Hollywood Boulevard in California. And they also have, so here's here's where I connected with Robin Williams. Walked up to there and they have places where famous celebrities from Disney movies and such, and some of their Imagineers and things like that, um, people like that, have put their hands and feet and signed their names in the concrete there right in front of the theater there. And so I went there, I remembered, I thought, I think Robin Williams is here. So I went and had to put his hands there and he did. And so I took a picture of that as well. And so I was right there and I could feel the awesome vibes. And his kids were also on there. A couple of his kids had their little handprints in there too. So it felt really good to be there. And the third little nod to the afterlife was with Freddie Mercury. And I know you're thinking, because I'd be thinking this too. Freddie Mercury in Disney World, aside from the fact that he's like a big kid. Okay, you guys loves kid stuff. He would have loved Disney World, okay? He would have liked, he would have had a fun time. I'm standing in line. It's my my second to last day there. I'm in the concierge line. I have to talk to them about something, about the room or billing or something like that. And I am like, my sister says to me, because I was traveling with my sister, she says, uh, that guy looks like Freddie Mercury. And I looked up and one of the guys helping people, like from the side, looked exactly like Freddie Mercury. And I was just like, 
goes, oh my God. So I'm casually putting my phone up and like taking pictures of it. <laughs> and then I'm kind of embarrassed going, I don't even know if I can use these pictures randomly taking pictures of people. And, but oh my God, you guys, he did. So then I'm, it's my turn to go up. And I'm thinking, oh, I wonder if I'm going to, oh, I wonder if he's going to help me. I wonder if he's going to, no, it wasn't him. But it was a lady next to him. And so I'm dealing with this lady and then she has to call the manager over because the account is all screwed up on our, our room. And so they're trying to fix it. And then he comes over and we're like laughing and stuff. And we're finally at the point where we're like, it's okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out, whatever. It's not a big deal. And this, he comes over and kind of listens because we're all laughing. And he starts, she stands there. And so we're done. And I said, oh my God, I just have to say, do people tell you that you look like Freddie Mercury? And I'm like, that's the dumbest thing I could have said because of course they do because he totally does. And he says, no, no, they never say that. He said, but when they say queen, I say, queen what? Queen who? I don't know who, what you're talking about. And he says, and then they look at me very strange, like, oh, I'm sorry. And he says, no, 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 I love queen. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And he says, yes, yes, thank you. And I should have asked if I could take a picture with him because then I could share it with you, but I didn't. But he did. He looked like Freddie Mercury. I think it was fabulous. So I think that was definitely a hey from Freddie. Look at me. I'm at Walt Disney World, Florida. <laughs> the guy works at Art of Animation. At least he did in May 2019. So if you guys want to see the Freddie Mercury look like, you might get to if you stay at Art of Animation. <laughs> Disney's like Disney, Walt Disney World, Florida, buddy. So that is a little bit of a chat about how even in your everyday life, the afterlife can come in and bring you some joy, actually, you know, whether it be your loved ones, like at a wedding or a baptism or some kind of a family event, like a graduation. I mean, it's graduation season. I have a, I have, I have a child that's going to be graduating next week. And so even during those special family times, your loved ones are with you and they won't necessarily come in to make you feel sad. They don't wanna make your energy feel sad. They know you're missing them, so they will definitely be there and cheering you on and grandma will be clapping and so proud and you know, dad will be sitting like, yeah, even though dad can't physically walk his daughter down the aisle, he will energetically be there with her in some special way and there'll be a symbol There'll be some kind of thing like you turn on, she turns on the radio at the right time that morning as she's getting into the car to head to the hotel to get her hair done or whatever. And she hears a special song or she's getting her hair done and all of a sudden a special song comes on. And it's a sign, you guys, it's a sign, it's a message. It's, a, it's, it's everywhere. The, our ability to connect is everywhere. It's in symbol and sign and message and lyrics and music. And somebody else can be a messenger. Somebody else might say the exact same quote that your dad always said just at the moment that you just needed to know your dad was around. Just needed to know that he was there and bam. And that's why you guys, I have an affinity for Walt Disney World. Because I grew up going to Walt Disneyland in California, visiting relatives we had out there. And my dad loved Mickey Mouse, loved Mickey. In fact, when my, after my dad passed away and uh, we buried him, his marker we designed with the Mickey Mouse ears on it. <laughs> so my sister and I especially share that connection with Disney and so when we have an opportunity to go to Walt Disney World together, we do. We each went for our 40th birthdays um, together, and then we just went again. Um, it had been like a while since we had been there together, and so we got to go to Walt Disney World. And Walt Disney World, Florida, you might say, well, why do you go to Florida instead of Disneyland? Well, because it's way cheaper for airfare to go to Florida than it is to go to California, let me just say. And if I went to California and Los Angeles, I would have to like now, because I'm doing all sorts of channeling, I'd have to like hang out at the celebrity graves and do some channeling. And I love Hollywood Boulevard and all the stars and all that. And I just, I would, it couldn't just be a Disneyland trip now. I mean, it'd have to be so much more than that. So it's super easy to just go to Disney World, Florida. Plus they have like a bus transfer thing from the airport that Disney provides and they have all this transportation. You can Uber or Lyft if you want to around if you want to get around faster, but you don't have to pay extra for transportation. And in California, there's like not a close airport to Anaheim. It's like not even close. You got to rent a car and drive and California traffic is horrible and unpredictable. And so, yeah, 
way easier to go to Orlando, Florida, and much more affordable for families and such. So that's why Disney World versus Disneyland. So, all right, you guys, this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for listening to this chat where I chatted about the three friends, uh, the afterlife guests that waved at me when I was in Walt Disney World, Florida. See, signs are everywhere, you guys, if you're just open to receiving the messages and willing to look. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has inspired your spirit, filled you up with some hope because this is your life. This is your life now. So you live it. Go live it. Thanks for watching.